Hello friends, welcome to Joy of Life. So before we proceed with this episode, what I would like to tell you is that if you have not seen the system design introduction video, wherein we have discussed about the architecture of this mini project that we are building, I would highly recommend you to check the same. I will leave a link to the description as well so that you can click, check the same and then get back onto the video. So in the last video, we did a uh, quite a lot of improvement to our code, right? We have refactored it, introduced thread pool. We have some async services now and uh, things like that. And uh, things were pretty cool, right? It was processing faster and all. So in this video, what we are going to do is now, uh, the first step is to enable the Kafka so that uh, we post this URL into the topic. And once we are going to pick up this topic, what we are going to do is we are going to process it, right? And we need to extract all the URL that is present inside that particular URL. So we are going to take care of that part. So having said that today, our main work is around the HTML file worker who's receiving the URL over here. And uh, let's see how we can take this forward, right? So we have already enabled um, Kafka over here. So our part is pretty much done for this application. So let's move on to the HTML worker and see what we can do. So first thing first, uh, we'll add a log over here. So pretty much the same thing that we have uh, done earlier. So we are going to use the logger factory and we are going to get the logger by the class type. And uh, let's get uh, read of this is out messages, which I am not really very fond of. We have our message. So one more minor change that we'll do is we'll take the log level and set it to info for this application as well. So we'll go ahead and add this to our file over here. Okay. So we have the HTML worker over here and uh, we now need to process whatever message we got. And our message is nothing but uh, URL, right? So we will create a separate class for this. So this is our listener and I don't want to uh, give him the responsibility of a service. So what we'll do is we'll go ahead and create a separate service for this. And we'll create a class inside this and we'll call this URL processor. So first we are going to annotate this with service and uh, we are going to have a method inside this and we'll call that. Uh, so we are not uh, expected to return anything, right? Because we are just need to extract the URL and we are uh, going to print it in the logs and later we'll post it back to our application once we create that endpoint. So we'll have a message over here called process and we will uh, take a URL and uh, which will for now what it will do is it will just go ahead and uh, log things for us so we'll uh, create a logger inside it so let's get hold of the same line and uh, let's change this to url processor okay so now the question is how do we get this uh, urls from the url right and uh, to do that what we need to do basically is we have to get the source of it and then extract uh, all the URLs from it. And uh, to help us here, what we have is a library called JSOUP and uh, we are going to use JSOUP in order to get it done. So we can go ahead and uh, download the JSOUP dependency from Maven. So you can just go ahead and search with JSOUP Maven dependency and go to the repository and you can grab hold of the latest version and you can add it to your form file dependency somewhere in your dependency section and once you do that make sure you click on maven and uh, re-import so that all the dependencies are resolved and you are good to go so in case if you wanted to check out more about jsoup then you can check out the java docs for the same so here we are going to do some very basic things in jsoup so i'll not deep dive into jsoup so basically what we'll do is we'll connect to the url that we have received and we'll get the content so it will basically return me a document so let's call it doc and so what we are going to do with this doc is to get all the links so we have a selector over here so this is the selector this is how you give a css selector so if you have worked in the front end technologies you will know about this kind of selector so um, 
so now what we'll do is we'll get a bunch of links so this will be matching to a lot of things right so we'll get a bunch of elements so all our jsoup elements and let's call them links and uh, for now what we are going to do with this links is we are just going to log this link so i am going to put extracted and uh, i am going to put the uh, link okay so uh, my bad uh, this will be element and then we have to get from that element okay so again uh, more like css we have to do a attribute we have to get the attribute and uh, inside this attribute what we are looking for is the hrefs okay so here basically we are telling that get me all those tags that uh, is a anchor tag and has a href element to it and here i am extracting the href element and i am just uh, logging it and uh, as you see over here that this method is screaming you are making a network call and uh, there could be a io exception but uh, we can't do if uh, we get a exception right the only thing that we can do is we can uh, just eat it up for now so nothing much for now we are just going to catch the exception and we are going to throw this uh, and we are going to print this uh, into our log so that we know that this exception has taken place okay so mostly that is all that we are going to do and apart from that uh, since we have done yesterday so let's quickly get that done also over here so i'll create a package over here and we'll call it config and we are going to take that uh, configuration file that we have created right so we are going to so we are going to take this thread pull config that we have uh, yesterday and we are going to create a thread pool config over here and we are going to call this out as a configuration and we are just creating a thread pool over here so again the benefit over here is we can um, call this as async so we can get this uh, processed in a uh, separate thread altogether and what we'll be doing basically over here is to first enable async so uh, this will know that we have async method inside it and uh, what we are going to do is uh, we are now going to call this service over here we have this service over here and uh, we have named it url processor right so we'll um, get this auto add and every time we get a url over here what we'll do is we'll go and call the process method with the message and um, that is going to be all that is all what we are doing and uh, today what we are going to do is we'll run this application full fledged so let's see what all is uh, running for us so docker ps and uh, we have kafka zookeeper mysql running so one important thing that i wanted to show you today is that um, our U url project uh, the container for mysql right so you can see that uh, this is the ip address and uh, the ip address that we have in our application the url pd service is um, this 17.0.2 and which has changed to 0.5 right so what happens is uh, sometimes when you restart your docker and um, start the container all over again what can happen is your ip address might get changed and here is something important that we are going to discuss shortly is a discovery service we'll talk about it later so for now what we'll do is we'll go ahead and build it but that's something that i always have in mind so i wanted to discuss that with you guys shortly maybe over the weekend so i am keeping all the heavier topics for the weekend mostly so now we are going to do a mvn clean install and skip um, the test so once again if you are not familiar with this query what you can do is you can go ahead and check my previous videos wherein we have discussed this in much more details like building the docker image the one that we are doing over here and then starting the container all has been discussed in quite a lot of details and uh, i would rec highly recommend that you go ahead and check those okay so url feeder service is up and uh, 
now what we will do is we will build and start our HTML worker service so there is no error as we see and we are good so what we will do is we will for now dock it over here so that when we run the application we can see things over here okay now going to the another instance of command prompt which we are starting over here is uh, we will go, go to our uh, HTML worker and we are going to start that so first thing first we need to build it so the image is ready and we are going to run it on 8084 something is running just as I mentioned that I have to kill it uh, which is already there so we'll do a hyphen f and kill it and once killed we are going to run it again okay so this time I'm not expecting any problem it should be fine so as you can see that both the services are up so this is url feeder service this is the html um, worker and what we are going to do over here is um, stack overflow li uh, looks good and it has a quite a lot of links so what we'll do is we'll send one request to our url feeder service for uh, stack overflow and what it should do is since it's a html topic it should put it in kafka and he's listening to the same topic he's going to pick it up and uh, he's going to print all the links present inside uh, stackoverflow.com that's what is expected and uh, let's see what happens so here what i've done is i have opened postman and uh, we have uh, stack overflow over here and uh, we are going to send out the request so it has been received and uh, put to the container it received and uh, i guess it did its job so as you see over here let me expand it for you so you can see over here that it pulled out all the links present inside it it got hold of all the links and extracted it out that's what we are looking for isn't it and there are some edge cases as you see over here which we need to do but overall it looks good we have all the links with all the details that's required right so that's pretty amazing this is our um, url feeder service who received the url inserted into the db posted it to kafka and the guy over here who has received the same from the kafka topic and he did what was required he listed out all the links right so yeah you saw that um, how we took care of it right so you got a fair idea of how things has worked for us over here right so that is all from this uh, part of the tutorial so in the next part we'll do something interesting we'll uh, add a endpoint batch endpoint and we will try to put this uh, url that you are seeing over here right and we are going to post it back to that endpoint itself so that we continuously get the url and we continuously have the data right so if you look at our uh, project right now we have a lot of pending things to do right we need to send uh, we need to extract more data out of the url and uh, save it into a NoSQL database and things like that so having said that we will open up our new episodes in various regions one is for NoSQL I have a plan to introduce Redis so if you uh, see over here in our URL feeder service these operations right we are going to database all the time so I'm thinking what if we cache the URL for seven days so we don't need to go there probably we can find it directly from the cache and if we miss the cache we go to the database right so yeah having said that we have a lot of plans to cover in the days to come so stay tuned stay subscribed and share this channel so that uh, we all can grow together and learn things together so yeah bye bye see you and take care